Okay, so I'm gonna head over to tcisafe.com and I'm gonna scroll down and it says I have three things to do, one, two, three. First thing is I'm gonna sign up with TCI Safe. So that looks pretty easy. Agree to the rules and the terms and conditions and register. Next, it wants my information here. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill all this out. All right, so I filled in all my information here, my departure date, which is tomorrow. Incidentally, today's a holiday, it's Labor Day. So let's see how quickly we get the approval back. So I'm gonna hit continue. And it has given me a quote here for travel insurance. So the Turks and Caicos requires mandatory travel insurance that specifically covers COVID and medevac. Reason being, they don't want you to come there and then if you do get sick, uh, to overrun their hospitals. So 69 bucks, that sounds great. I'm going to click yes and buy. Continue to pay my provider. Okay, so step one is great. I've got a voucher. Let's uh, download this like it says. Great. Now I'm gonna close this window here and we're gonna go back to TCI Safe. Okay, so I'm back on tcisafe.com and I'm just gonna scroll down here until I see this text, the TCI Assured Portal. This is the next step. So I'm gonna hit this here and it's gonna take me over here and I'm gonna enter my email. This is the first time I've done this, by the way. So we'll see how, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Read a privacy policy. See how intuitive this is. So far, so good. Enter my OTP has been sent to give an email address. Very good. So I'm gonna check my email. All right, so here's my email. I've got my uh, little thing here, great. I'm gonna go back over here and log in. My resident of Turks and Caicos, sadly I am not, so I'm gonna select non-resident, completing this form for myself, and we're gonna fill all this information out here. All right, super duper health status. This has gotta be easy. Do I have any symptoms of illness? No, I do not. Yes, I have been tested. And we're gonna go ahead and fill out all of this information here. Looks like pretty self-explanatory here. And this is where we're gonna upload our test result. Now I received my test result via email. If you have a printed copy, you can just take a picture of it, scan it in and upload it that way. This information at the bottom here, I've just taken from my policy, my little PDF policy they gave me when I purchased the insurance. So I've just cut and pasted that here. And the expiry date, this is the return date. This is the date that I'm returning and departing the Turks and Caicos. All this information was simply cut and pasted from the PDF file which I've uploaded here, click next. And we're gonna fill this out here, pretty easy. And we're gonna hit next. Okay, so I've entered the information where I'm staying, name of the bill, the address, town is Provo, AKA Providenciales, also known as Paradise, Heaven on Earth, hitting next. Travel cost, okay. I'm gonna read all this information here and that's all just great. And yes, I consent. Yes, I certify and I'm gonna hit submit. Let's see, what does it say? Oh my goodness gracious, thank you for submitting. Application, okay, application reference number. I'm gonna take a screenshot of this, just so I've got it. Boom, probably pretty important. And I'm gonna hit continue. Wow, okay. So here we go, it's pending. It's 11.53 a.m. that it was submitted at. Uh, this I think was the time I started the application because right now it's 12.02. PM. So this application took me nine minutes, not terrible. Also considering that I, uh, you know, I'm recording the screenshot here. So let's see what happens. All right, so I just got an email. My application has been approved. I think it's been like, I don't know, a half hour or something, maybe not even a half hour. It's Monday, Labor Day, it's a holiday. I've heard stories from guests that they submit things at 10 o'clock at night on the day before they're supposed to arrive and the turnaround's pretty quick. So that's great. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna click this download button to download my certificate that um, contains all my information. And one of the things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep a printed copy of my COVID test, my insurance, and this certificate, just in case my phone battery dies, maybe the scanner's not working somewhere, I have no idea, but I'm gonna bring a hard copy of everything just so I've got it. So let's do it. So I'm gonna click the download button here, I'm gonna download my certificate, I'm gonna print it out and save it.